All right, guys, welcome back to the Clack Shack. And uh, I did a video the other night uh, because I had a couple of uh, folks had messaged me and I came up with a way of making some of my larger graphics take a lot less time. And yet again, another person that was watching my video has pointed out that there's another tool in Lightburn that I actually knew nothing about and I've been playing around with it and trying to uh, determine whether I want to use that tool or not. And it turns out it is very valuable for larger graphics. And uh, so I'm gonna take you over to the PC and we'll go through that. I've got an example set up to show you uh, because I know a lot of you may be like me and I kind of got to see it to, to understand it and get it to make sense. And so I'm gonna just kind of run through a little demonstration of the differences that it makes and show you what that tip is and uh, give a little props to the guy that pointed it out to me. So stick around for just a minute and we'll get over to the PC. All right guys, I'm over here at the laptop and Gini is fighting with the cats over the uh, cat food. So she's been a little noisy. Uh, but here's our science experiment. And before I get started, I want to go ahead and give props to this guy, Mr. Gerald Lamoth. Uh, he's the one that brought it to my attention that this flood field was actually a thing. Like I said, guys, I, I don't pretend to be the master of light burn or the master of lasers or anything like that. I'm learning this stuff just like you guys are. Uh, I do like to share my knowledge when I do obtain it. And Mr. Lamoth has been so kind as to give me one more tool from a toolbox. And I've been playing around with it because I wanted to make sure that it was, you know, correct. Not that I doubted him, but I, I have to, I'm the type that I need to kind of see, you know, what, what the difference is and how things work. And so I have set up a little science experiment here for everybody. And what I have is three separate shapes. Each one of them, the settings are identical, except for, of course, the flood feel. And then this one is, is parted out. Uh, this one is the, the original file. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to turn everything off except for the original file format and just show you the estimated time of completion for that guy. All right, so there's the uh, estimated time of completion. It's six minutes. If you don't have this little checkbox activated, I found it to be very helpful because it gives you an idea of what the laser is doing and especially for this demonstration it is it is very critical to be able to see what's making such a big difference and as you can see the, the red right here indicates that the laser is moving but it's not doing anything it's just moving traversing from one place to another so that's a that's a big deal remember remember what that looks like okay so I'm gonna turn that one off now I'm going to turn on the blue, black, and the green one that I did the other day. Uh, and this is the same part. I just shrank the size of it for this demonstration so I can fit three of them on the screen. All right, so that is what we did when I took that thing and broke it into three different pieces. In essence, what I did is I got rid of a lot of this white space in the middle. And that method worked, and it helped it out a lot. But, uh, like I said, the flood field was not even on my radar, and now that it is, it's a bit of a game changer. Uh, especially for these large graphics that have empty space. Now, if you use it on a graphic that doesn't have empty space, I've been doing some testing with it, and it, it, it doesn't help if it's a busy graphic, and I'll show you that in just a second. But that's what it looks like when you slice it into pieces, and that drastically increased the speed of the laser. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the rest of these off. And now I'm going to turn on the one that is, uh, this one is set to flood fill. And that's what it does, a minute and 57 seconds. So definitely flood fill does make a difference. I didn't understand what, the word flood fill, I don't know that, that they chose the correct word for what this thing is doing because it's not really flooding anything. It's more or less narrowing the movement. I mean, they should call it like the minimizer or something. Flood just does not, flood doesn't sound like something that you would want 
with with a graphic. It says flood makes me think that it's going to kill it, you know. But anyway, whoever chose that word, that's, uh, you know, their prerogative. But what flood field does is it basically takes out every bit of the white space movement. And uh, for those of you that don't have your white space, you know, uh, speed adjustment on there, I don't forget what they call it, uh, this would definitely help you guys. It helps me as well, but it would definitely help, help you if you don't have it turned on to do a white space scanning. But that is the, uh, that's, that's what I found, guys. So flood feel is your friend when it comes to uh, open area graphics. All right, guys, I hope that helped. And uh, like I said, as I learn things, and I'm learning every day, guys, I've been this, as this laser since October. I've learned a lot from uh, the guys on the channel. I've learned a lot from a lot of other guys that make videos. And uh, anytime you can pass information along to me, feel free, because I will use it and put it to use and try to share it so that everybody else can, uh, can benefit from it. So, been a busy day today. Uh, I've torn my meal up for right now, so I'm through milling lumber, but it was one of those hot, sweaty days to where I had to go get a shower and try to find some parts for the meal. And unfortunately, nobody in town has the belts that I need, and I've got a belt on the sawmill that's about to break, it looks like, so I've shut that down until I can get the uh, parts to fix it with. But just keep the, uh, keep the comments and the questions coming, guys. If you've got anything that you want to see a video about, let me know. Uh, several people have asked me about my machine and my cleaning ritual, and I'm, I'm working on trying to uh, come up with a video of, of, of the machine and, and how I go about cleaning it, I guess, but my machine gets abused a lot. It gets used regularly, so uh, it's quite the uh, ordeal. I've got a cat and a guinea fighting over the food here in the shack right now, so. It's, I'm telling you guys, it's crazy here. All right, guys, it's been a long day today. Uh, spent the majority of the day up at the mill until I, uh, I started having a belt slip real bad on me. So I went ahead and broke that down, shut it down for now. I've got a good bit of this pine here, uh, similar to this that I cut today. I've got it put in a kiln drying. It'll be a couple of weeks before I can uh, use, the, uh, use the wood. But I spent the day cutting out a few uh, leather patches for some hats that I've got ordered. And I have decided that I'm going to take a break and go in the house and do some, uh, some sewing and sew some patches onto some hats. So I just want to drop this video before, uh, before everybody forgot about the, the other video and to kind of add it on as, as, as an additional uh, little tool to put in your toolbox when you're making these graphics that will save you a lot of time. So I hope that uh, hope the video was helpful. And like I said, guys, keep sending me the information and I'll try to pass it on to everybody. Uh, I'm learning just like everybody else. Got my laser back in October. And before that, I, I, I had some computer knowledge, but I had no laser knowledge. And uh, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm enjoying being able to interact with you guys and, and help you guys uh, do a little better job with your with your, your hobby or make a little better money with your side hustle or however you're doing it. But uh, I appreciate it and I appreciate the feedback. So everybody, uh, thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button on your way out and uh, have a good day.